Hi again. What we're going to do is the second panel of our Lascaux cave inspired artwork. So when we left off, I had drawn out the cave person holding a weapon, like a spear. You could do a torch. You could do rock. Um, then I did my animal. When I drew my animal out, I used one of the how to draw animal books to do my tiger. Okay. And I want you to do that on this side also. So now I have to figure out, okay, what happens to these two people? I also drew in uh, rainforest leaves, rocks, um, a sun or a moon, and clouds. So over here, I'm going to draw a cave. And I'm going to have this person's mate inside the cave. And this cave woman decided that she was in the mood for some tiger meat. So she had her mate go out and try to hunt down a tiger. And see, I'm putting the rocks around the opening of the cave. And then I have to make the cave itself, which is kind of like a mountain, which is all rocky. So inside the cave, I'm going to have the cave woman make a spit. And it's not spit like when you're spitting on someone. I'm talking about this little homemade thing made with sticks where you can put the animal on top of here and then underneath there's fire and then the fire cooks whatever animal is right over here. Now we have to find out who won. Did the tiger win or did the mate win? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my photo reference and I'm going to look at a full body picture of a tiger once again. And this is what I'm going to draw. And let's see if you can figure out who won or not. Hmm. So there's the head. There's the fangs of the tiger. And the tiger is kind of hunched over. And I'm going to have the paws of the tiger right here. And I'm going to have another paw over here. With those sharp claws. And, uh-oh. I think we can figure out who won. The cave person isn't looking like he's in good shape. Hmm. Caveman looks like he's in trouble. Especially because his spear is out of reach. And here is another paw, which I'm going to put over the cave person again. And here's all the stripes and everything that I had put originally on the tiger. So let's pretend I've added all of the stripes. Okay. Um, here's a little bit of blood because things can get messy. All right. And now there's the mate who is screaming like a maniac, hopping up and down, saying to herself, I was in the mood for tiger meat. And, and I, I sent my mate out to get a nice tiger so I, I can cook him for dinner. And this doofus had to go get killed. I'm hungry! Ah! All right, so that is what you're going to start to do today. Two-panel story. You did the first panel last week. Now we have to figure out what the outcome is. Your outcome should be different looking than mine, so don't steal my idea. And remember, add all those background details. Okay? We'll start to color next week.